Mr. Sam Pedroda, a very warm welcome uh, to this conference. This is Devang Khakkar. I'm director of IIT Bombay. Uh, I'm very glad that you could find the time to essentially come and deliver a lecture. Uh, we have a large audience here at IIT Bombay and who are eagerly looking forward uh, to your lecture. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kakkar. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Chicago and good morning. First of all, thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Unfortunately, I have not been able to be with you in person, but I am delighted that we are connected through this video link. Design has been of great importance to me personally for all kinds of reasons. One partly my roots and background in the family of carpenters, blacksmiths, and artisans. I grew up where people did things with their own hands. I know and recognize well that India has had a very long tradition in design, in art, craft, costumes, food, festivals, and whatnot. This design tradition is visible all over the country. However, 200 years of colonization somehow didn't give us the edge in the modern contemporary design world. The design work today in India that we normally talk about finds its roots in National Institute of Design, where a lot of good work has been going on for a long time. But many of us very strongly believe that that's not good enough. World has changed in the last 20 years, especially with globalization, privatization, free market economy. Design has become a key for globally competitive marketplace for productivity, efficiency, and I think it is about time that we begin to pay little more attention to design than we have done in the past. The world has also changed because of the web, internet, wireless communication, IT, and all of that has very profound impact on the business models. Delivery. Just look at the way the image processing has changed in the last decade. Not too long ago, many of us got so excited about Polaroid camera that you could take instant picture. Seems like yesterday. And from there, all the way today, to taking high resolution pictures on your mobile phones, transmit all over instantly, process it, modify it. All of this to me has to have an impact on design. Based on my little experience in Chicago at the Design Institute connected with the Illinois Institute of Technology, I know that the China has been pushing for over 100 design institutions in the last four or five years. 
as a result of all of this, some of us in the government started thinking about giving more importance to design. And I must say that there are a large number of people who believe in this idea of more design institutions in the country. And as a result, we started a year ago some amount of public interaction, discussions, dialogues, started meeting with group of design experts, try to get their feel as to what is happening in design field and decided to focus on understanding the process and sensitizing key people in the government for additional investments on designs. As part of the 12th five-year plan, we believe we have convinced fair amount of decision makers in the government to invest substantial amount of money in building 2024 design institutions. Four have already been announced by Prime Minister, but we believe we need another 20. I must say that the design community has come forward with all kinds of innovative ideas input, advice, and now the challenge for all of us relates to operationalizing a lot of these ideas. We need design schools not just for fancy products. I am one of those who has been saying for the last 20 years that the best brains in the world are busy solving problems of the rich. And as a result, Problems of the poor don't get the right kind of talent. And design is indeed a special talent. We need to look at design from the viewpoint of meeting basic human needs. We need design solutions for water, sanitation, agriculture, health, education, transportation, for example, we have very little new design for railways with huge amount of railway network, large amount of investment in railways. There is very little new design that has gone into railways, which we could say is our own, has Indian touch. Similarly, we need design expertise on rural development, urbanization. We need design not only from the viewpoint of products and processes, but also from the viewpoint of innovations. I believe government departments can use great deal of design expertise, but I don't think we have the right mindset for design yet in the government. So I hope that this drive towards 20 new co-located design schools, co-located with the existing institutions like IIT Mumbai or MS University Baroda or University of Pune and many other big universities where campus is already there, buildings are there, there is fair amount of ecosystem in place, talent is in place and you have opportunity for multidisciplinary environment. Design cannot be in isolation. I remember that in earlier discussions we had, many people came forward and said, we want to start a new design school and we need 100 acre land. We need 50 acre land. That's where some of us felt that it is important to use existing infrastructure to really build design schools in the present ecosystem. I believe most of us have bought into this idea of more design schools, fair amount of additional investment in the 12th plan, and also design schools which are embedded 
in the existing institutions with perhaps focus on subject matter if you are going to have a design school close to medical campus they better begin to focus on design challenges related to health services auto industry similarly design in education is equally critical i hope that through the kind of discussions you are having we can give little more concrete shape to our vision of these 20 design schools finally we would like to see 20 different proposals from public private some even with partnerships from other international design schools and not just look at design as part of a fashion and high end products for the rich once i had an opportunity to meet with large group of design students in chicago and i was surprised to learn that after graduation large number of people were looking for jobs in designing cartier watch gucci bags or fancy products for the rich and i think that's where our needs are very different and i hope we can build large pool of talent in design to really address the problems related to inclusive growth bottom of the pyramid urbanization rural development redesigning slums and there are lots of challenges in india we have talked enough for a year on this i think it is about time to begin to finalize some proposals and i hope at this meeting you have an opportunity to discuss some of these proposals package it properly and bring it to the government ministry of hrd ministry of commerce planning commission all our sort of involved in pushing this agenda forward i believe we have unique window of opportunity and we need to capitalize on it so i request all of you to really come forward with 20 different proposals at least maybe more and hope we can package these proposals take it to the government make some key decisions and begin to operationalize some of these ideas timing is right i had series of discussions with the planning commission we have put in in the planning commission document proper wording to support design institutions and i hope that goes through and efforts that you have initiated would be the step in right direction with this i want to once again thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity thank you